Seniors. Except that we got approved for right. Right. Yep. site plan approval. Yeah, that was, I, I, I chose not to uh, attend the meeting, but I did watch, and that uh, was the fiasco that I thought it was going to be. So, um, but it, uh, to my surprise, it, it did pass. It was unanimous, then, too. Well, that's the only way it could happen. Right. No, no, not. Four out of five. That's right. It had to be unanimous. I thought it had to be unanimous. No, it has to be four out of five. Four, 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 four out of five. Super majority. Four out of five. Well, that is, that's a double surprise. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> I mean, I'll, I, I, I don't agree with uh, some of the sentiment that, uh, that Johnny poured out, but uh, some of the statements are, are quite true. So, I mean, he, he makes valid points most of the time. Um, I'm not. I'm not arguing one way or the other. You know, I'm just that's the new the news is that we're past that hurdle. Right. Yeah, and that's at this point that's all we can. You know, that's all we're left with. But, that's a good thing to be left with. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nobody here from the library? Uh, Dave, Dave come? Still at it? No, David. He's Morris yeah. Is not yeah, he's going to be late. He's uh, okay. All right. If he can make it. <clears throat> the fire committee, you want to do that one? Uh, if you have news, yeah. Um, the plans are pretty much all set to go. Um, We've had a couple of talks, a couple of final things. They're trying to figure out the, the measurements of one of the catch basins so they can get their overflow drainage from the pipe. And we've got to have the catch basin clean, which is we've been waiting now for about four weeks to try to set it up so we can get the catch basin sucked out. Uh, once that's done, they can continue with their design. Uh, but everything else is pretty much set to go. We've got a meeting next Tuesday night. They've had the, uh, they're gonna have one more meeting to compare the uh, budgets and it's right now there, it's, it's within budget, so. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way, so. There's no, there's no question about the drainage. No, no, they're just trying to get, shoot the grades to get it, figure out where, which, what level it's gonna go at. To, how far down the street it's going to break in? Yeah, well, yeah, it's an angle, so they're just yeah. trying to figure out what the pitch has to be, what the depth is. That's good news. Yeah, that's... So you say you guys are going to have a meeting soon? Friday morning we have a meeting um, to make a plan forward. We have still have some um, interior decisions to make, mostly just where the office spaces are. Um, so I guess, you know, certainly the select board has asked uh, our input in regards to, I guess the, the next big decision for the town is, do we put the two buildings together uh, as simultaneously on the same schedule or do we phase them. And I think they're going to be looking at costs. Mm -hmm. um, which one's going to be better than the other? So the variable that needs to be considered is that 
there have been no formal communications regarding what it would cost to move over to Most Holy Redeemer. Um, we've been asked to look at the space, which we did. It's adequate. It's, you know, um, got all the space that we need to continue doing the programs that we currently do and enough classrooms so that we can set up probably offices all in one or maybe one adjacent to it and leave an, an additional classroom for some smaller programs. But it's got the kitchen to do lunch. We can set up, I, I've talked to Father Peter about it all. We can make that work. Um, uh, is there a rent they're gonna charge? Or? That's, that's the whole thing that nobody has gotten to. We just looked at the space. So all of that needs to happen to know those variables um, moving forward. Um, I think um, I'm hearing from some people that are parishioners that um, they built the church, they raised the money, they built the church, so they want to know if there's going to be rent paid or not. They don't. And then when I talked with Father Peter, who's somewhat new there, and said, have you discussed rent yet? And he said, no, but the way that things always work is the diocese owns all of the property, so they have a person down in Springfield at the diocese that handles all the renting of different properties. So I'm hearing two different things. Somebody needs to broach that with them and find out how it really will work, and then the logistics um, that we've brought up before about, you know, moving the telephone and the Wi-Fi and all the rest of that over there and finding storage and things like that. So it, you, you can't talk about what you're going to be saving or gaining until, all until the, those until pieces are discovered. Yeah. yeah. I was always thought that whenever we do something like this, we have to put out a request for proposals. That's, you know, there might be somebody else that's got something cheaper. That's the way we've always you know, done that. So that's, I would think, would be a process you have to do legally. So that answer needs to come up. I would think it's going to be somewhat difficult to find a place that's better that's not on Route right. 9. But you've got to go through the proper channels. Exactly. You know, I don't know all of that piece that needs to be determined as well. But it's got the kitchen, it's got an area for exercise, it's got an area for eating lunch, it's got a classroom for offices and another classroom for programming separate from that. Um, is the nurses facility an important factor? Is that something that they have where they could provide? That needs to be looked at. Um, going to be tough for the And they don't have any um, CCE classes or anything like that that would... They do, but they don't happen during the week, during the day. Okay. And as far as them using the same offices for classrooms, is that going to affect your record keeping? He seemed Personal. pretty easygoing about the whole thing, saying that, you know, they'd work around, what have you. I said, would it be an issue if we set up, say, three or four of the tables for lunch and left them there and then did exercise in the other side of the very large room and he said no we can all you know whatever there are other entities that do use that place during i want to say tuesday and thursday nights um and they set up chairs in a row i want to say it's a symphony or an orchestra of some kind and um and so you know We'd have to be good neighbors, putting things away, you know, whatever. But I think it's going to be hard pressed to find a place that's going to have everything that we need. What about like your files? You know, we don't want people to be getting into somebody else's information. Right. So confidentiality. Some of the costs could run into, you know, purchasing some lockable file cabinets. Right now we have um, two lockable file cabinets, and just in kind of brainstorming what would have to go with us really the bulk of what we do is mostly the person the 
people files, all of that stuff, we would have to have access to every day. So those would come with us and be in the office with us. The programming doesn't, you know, we bring our copiers, our, or, you know, a desk copier and our computers, so we'd, we'd be fine that way. Um, and then we'd have to just, you know, go through anything else that we'd be needing, but to continue doing what we're already doing, we'd need a little bit of space for some exercise um, stuff, hand weights and stuff like that. But it's, I don't see it taking up a tremendous amount of space. I think it's totally doable. Um, especially that very large room that they have is actually bigger than the space that we currently have. So I would think that if we, you know, took one part of a corner just to have that exercise stuff there, so if we weren't bringing it, putting it back, bringing it, putting it back insofar as into a classroom and then back out again, it shouldn't be a big deal. I really don't see it any insurmountable issues with continuing, for the most part, everything that we already do. As far as the, <clears throat> excuse me, the rest of the, the stuff in the building that is maybe owned by the town or the mm -hmm. senior center, mm -hmm. how much of that stuff is going to be moved to the new senior Not center? Not a lot. Okay, so a bunch of that stuff is just going to be auctioned off. David Nixon had said, yes, that it would mostly go to auction. I said, everybody's free. You know, once I know what we're going to have in the new building furnishing-wise, which is something I've already broached with the interior designer, um, then I'll, I, I can be able to say, you know, everybody come over and take whatever you want because the rest is going to be auctioned off. You know, of course, the town departments are going to get first dibs at what's in there if they need it, and then the rest will get auctioned off. Um, so as far as uh, storage space needed for stuff that will be transferred, it's minimal. By minimal, what do you, I mean, I would think that it's probably more than a pod because we have a treadmill, we have a new step, things like that. Um, and then... Um, Still haven't decided what to do with the pool table now that people have started playing, which we didn't figure into the new building. So those those things you can work on. Yeah. Later on. Right. Right. Just, but there isn't a ton furnishing wise yeah. that's coming with. Just, um, we're just trying to figure out what to do with all the stuff that's there that doesn't have anything to do with the seniors, so the planning board stuff. And, exactly. Uh, well, the that's, that's going to be the sort of departments are going to have to deal with that as they go. Right. But as a billing committee, we're just going to And it's going to be a storage issue because we don't have any place in town right. to put it right now. So if we, if, we can, if we can at least get a handle on, on what kind of cubes we need, we'll at least be able to figure out you know, give, you know, start to shoot select boards some kind of idea of, of this. We need this many cubic feet of yep. storage. The other thing we got to do, too, we don't need to push this unless we absolutely have to because that building uses, last year used 5,700 gallons of oil. And we've already bought that for this year. And we also have to, if we don't use it, we have to store it and pay for it until we use it again, whether it's next year. And that's, well, I think real that's more than what every other building in town uses right now combined. And the new senior center will be propane. Right. right. So we're not, you know, you know, so, you know, we, we planned on running that building through the winter. It would be nice if we could run it through the winter. And I think it's going to be, when you really get down to the logistics. Right. Well, yeah. you know, happen. we've also got to figure out who's going to pay to move all of this stuff. Because, you know, you know, winter's not a good time to have the highway department move anything. No. You can't guarantee a thing. Right. And... I don't think that they're they're going for a, a grant uh, in February to help a lot of the stuff. Uh, I mean, realistically, it's going to it's going to happen springtime. Yeah. I mean, those. I mean, that was a great point that you brought up about the uh, in the emails about the heating oil, because those are the things that help deal with trying to come up with 
oh, you know, allow me that, but you've got to remodel some rooms here and stuff like that. And that's and it's not going to take some time. You know, and it's not going to happen overnight. You know, it can't mm -hmm. happen during the day because, it, you know, this is all scheduling stuff that's got to be, you know, you got to work around people. I hate to know. say it, but the heaviest stuff and the most difficult to move is going to be all the planning board stuff up on the third floor. That's going to be really, well, and the room that they have on the second floor, because that's going to be really heavy. Yeah. You know? Well, so stuff on the third floor is not planning work. It's not? Those maps are highway in water and sewer. Oh. So where Which have been moved from the garage to Russell School. To, they were from some other place. They've been bounced around. Yeah, the finance committee. Uh, one of the, that was one of the first questions that was asked of me. Was can we use Russell School for storage? And I I basically said we did have a, a vote on that, and we feel that it's not conducive. No. No. I said there's no heat in there. It's mothballed. I mean, whatever you store in there, you're basically going to. You run the possibility of throwing it away. Of throwing it away because of mold and right. everything else. So. And mold is becoming an issue even here with storage. And, so, and that's, I said, uh, the biggest problem that we're going to be faced with all this is storage. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's on all fronts. Well, if both of those projects start, there's going to be no room on that site for any kind of storage trailers. No, 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 we're not even you're thinking to, you're gonna, No, you're not going to do trailers. You're not going to do pods. You know, no, it's not, we're it's, not You're going to have to put it into storage facilities yeah. like rent something and like right. stuff it, put it down yeah put it somewhere where it's secure and but the other thought process I mean, we can look at can we build another room down in the basement for storage where here oh here yeah in this building we've got a problem with this mold in the safe already just because you know the way well, they keep the records now is is a uh, well, air conditioning heat in there so that's it's part of the control. question can we build something that would You're be doable down there? Another whole, that's got its own set of controls. Yeah. It's not going to be cheap because that system's not cheap at all. But is it something that we should be looking at? I think we should look at it because one of the, the one of the issues is that most of the departments and uh, committees you don't have a lot of room down there either because the no. back side of that's all tapered. You know, there's not much flat area left except for that front corner over there or the back. Corner. But you bring up several scenarios of this is what you can do with prices, and then you make the decision on what because it's not just price; it's also the, uh, for storage. We have departments that are here at nighttime. You're not going to run down the stuff at storage if you need something at 8, 8 uh, p.m. Right. Well, that's that's those are the questions. That's a time. Um, t uh, th that is going to be a time-consuming project for each department to sit through their yeah. stuff and say, That's this needs to stay with me, this can go into storage, much like they did when you did the floor uh -huh. here. Right? Yeah, and, and that was pretty successful. It, it worked pretty well. We were still able to get to all, all the stuff. That Wasn't there talk of them putting all everything on electronic stuff so they don't have to yeah. have all the bulk and I brought that up I mean, this day and age it seems kind of well I brought that up with the finance committee I said you know planning board bought a um, scanner to, to do that it hasn't happened and the logistics reasons why it hasn't happened it's same with my office I said I have a quarter of a million pieces of paper in there right that so needs to be scanned but it's a logistics issue I just want to say that over a year ago, I had spoken with Jim Maximoski in trying to ascertain whether they could hold their planning board meetings in the new senior center when it was finished. And he said, I said, the only thing is we don't have storage for your paper stuff, but I know that you have a scanner. Are you planning? Do you think between now and that time you could? get everything scanned so that you would have access to anything that you needed. And he said, it doesn't matter whether we can scan it all or not because we are bound by law to keep the paper copies. I, 
I, I I'm just that. telling you what yeah, but he doesn't said. Have to be on site with them all the time yeah. as long as they have access. So, so that's that was yeah. what he said to me. So, so he said to and, me it wouldn't work for them to do that. And I mean, I, I agree with David uh, and, and Jimmy that I mean it's so much easier to look on mm -hmm. at a piece of paper mm -hmm. when you're looking at something than trying to find it. In the I get it. I'm just saying that's yeah. so looking at the whole scanner thing and saying. Yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah, but the other thing too, where we got, you know, this paper is so important. A lot of it's kept in a non-sprinkler building and stuff like that. So, I mean, well, know, look what happened to Amherst. <laughs> they lost all theirs. They yeah, lost I mean, some, yeah. In a, in a storage facility that didn't have any conditioning of any sort. Right, like, that's what I'm saying. You can lose it to yeah. mold, theft, yeah. you know, mice. You know, if you, if you don't keep, you know, it's got to be, it should be, if it's that important, it should be kept somewhere where it's protected. Or at least have it be scanned so that you, right, you, have, you have another right. version. Right. Well, that's a good. That's the reason why you scan it. So, so you're you're saying that all these papers should be uh, in a heated, conditioned area um, to keep them good. So that leaves out ideal stuff at storage because those aren't conditioned. Right. You know, that, so if you're going to do that, temporarily, right? well, well some places do I think have heated yeah. storage, but, but no, I mean, if, not, if not those not, places. If they're not going to be heated at that point, I'd say we get storage trailers and park them where I don't know, maybe highway, maybe behind a school somewhere, um, because I would think that'd be cheaper than the monthly fee that they charge. But actually, with the planning stuff, that's more of a long-term problem because it's not like mm -hmm. after a year they're moving it somewhere. Right. This is we have to figure out something for the long haul because mm -hmm. that's where it's going to live. No, I, I since they're not going to have their home. I agree with that. So it might be a short and a long-term possibility. Yeah, I, we have a game plan for this building. Um, is it? The best for a long term? I don't know. Yeah, I, think long -term. I think no. I think some of, you know some of this stuff could be done at the old library and taking advantage of that. You're going to spend some money redoing some things. Well, that is true because the upstairs doesn't get really utilized very much. I mean, it's a big open room with right. a lot of open space. Right. So for an interim to, to period, that could that be has, yeah, absolutely. And and that's, that's conditions. And and that's that's a, something that, that could makes be, sense. You know, you could put that stuff up there, and not you know. The library can sacrifice a little too. They don't have much up there that's right. worth anything. And you know, let's all work Unless together here. A weight issue, but that, there's no, not a lot there's of not a plans, weight so. issue. We yeah. had it, we had it um, structurally uh, verified that it's not a weight issue. The issue was the vibration with people up there that uh, because the ceiling is loose. Mm -hmm. It's the old. The the other thing on uh, storage trailers, you can get them with. Uh, the reefer unit on here, not necessarily diesel but, or electric, you can get. Right. And there you got your conditioned space. You know, it's a, but there's, you it's know, a temporary the planning paint, board room wouldn't take up much of what's upstairs in the library. They could have a corner of that. Right. Yeah. Store the papers. And same, Everybody. With, and same with the other maps that are up there yeah. from the water. We so, could. And they're easy to access. There's lights, you can turn them on, get in there, you don't have to, yeah. you know. Well, that, might, that may be the solution. It's just the upstairs of the library for, for most of that documentation. And in the long term, you know, where, where whatever happens with the Russell School, if it ever became town hall and this building became a hall of records, well, then all the papers come here and become, you know, uh, accessible to the town employees. Um, you know, it probably still needs to be accessible for, for public if it's a of records. But well, you, well, no, you no, wouldn't that's turn the public on, loose on the records, right, you're so not, you, can't, you would have yeah. town employees going pulling out whatever the they need. Right. right. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that's a that's a law. I mean, in the I, I don't want to change the subject, but you know, has the highway department or water department or anything sussed out any of their real estate down there to figure out if if they're going to improve that area or put up a new building, is it going to suffice for the next 20 years? What, highway building? Yeah. Oh, we know that's not. No. We're, well, it we might be for the next 20 before we get funding. Right. I mean, a new <laughs> building, we've planned for that. Right. We've planned for everything right. all on one site. Right. On well, the highway stuff, so, yeah. But that's well, not going to happen in time yeah. to... No, but that's what I'm saying. You've got storage above 
you know, heated yeah. fire alarm at the library. So I guess the conclusion is going to be for temporary storage of documents that the second floor is probably for the good one is probably the best solution at this point. Which brings a good segue for uh, we need any kind of update from the library building committee if they have well, we've been kind of been, <laughs> we're still moving forward on um, the design of the building. We've been seeing some new pictures and new ideas. Um, we've only been meeting once a month now, so not much has happened in the last couple of uh, meetings. Um, we've just kind of been waiting for the uh, this end result with the planning board, but it hasn't stopped. So. Um, we're kind of looking at uh, its overall appearance. We've moved some windows around. We have a sense of what the inside will look like. Right now we're working on um, just what would we like to see for finishes. Would we like to see a wood interior? Do we want to see uh, sheetrock? Do we want to see uh, what kind of trim? And trying to get some thoughts together on that for our next meeting, which will be, I think it's next week. So. Um, there's been no coordination, though, between the, the Senior Center Building Committee and the Library Building Committee about any of that you know, like interior trim and whatnot. Yeah. If we need to make the buildings look alike in any way, there's been no communication. Yeah, I don't know if that's necessary. I, they're they're I different designs right. anyway, you know, right. outside, outside right. appearances, yeah. and, you know, so I don't think that's as, that critical. At this point, no. Yeah. That's too late. Yeah. 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 But we're at least the library's at a point where they can decide that. But, you know, it'll come down to cost, too. We'll have to, you know, it'd be nice to have some nice woodwork and everything. But if we have the whole place done that way, it might be too expensive. So, you know, we're, there was conversations about what should the roof be. And it wasn't planned to be a metal roof. And, you know, it's right now it's, it's asphalt. But it still hasn't been um, totally given up on, so we're going to get a price on that. Mm -hmm. um, but that wasn't in the original estimate, so. And uh, so, as far as we know at this point, it'll be a, a brick finish on the outside. And You're flush, David. So. Yeah, it's email or something. <laughs> <laughs> so. But I don't know if you guys knew, we, uh, Dennis Meehan just passed away. He was a member of, uh, on our, our building committee, and he's a member of the Friends of the Library. And that was, uh, we had his wake yesterday, his funeral today, so. Um, that was unexpected. Uh, I mean, he had had oh, yeah, some, a short sickness, as far as I know, short term. But it was surprising to me, because I just heard that he was, he had resigned, a, I don't know, probably a month ago. And then, then I heard he passed, so. But he was a, an important part of the, the committee. That's too bad. Condolences. I had a question. Uh, so you mentioned the oil and the and for the senior for the center. town for the senior center. Do we know what the church's uh, fuel is? I didn't. Know, I don't know if it's oil or gas. So if it was oil, I was wondering if there was a way to, in lieu of rent, use that oil that we've purchased. Can always look into it. Look into it, but for some reason, I think the church is gas, isn't it? I'm not sure. I feel like it is. I feel like I've seen gas meters on the back. Of well, there probably is for the kitchen area, you know. Yeah. But I just don't know the original church, you know. I don't. Suzanne can ask the next time she's. Well, somebody's got to start. You know, I don't want to assume it's a definite working thing mm, until right. we get all right. of those pieces. Well, I think on the 5th, of the, uh, there's going to be some major decisions made by the select board. Well, I'm um, moving forward. And that's great, but mm -hmm. we need to get some money answers in so far as that scenario goes. Right, you got to make sure you do it the right way. Don't you have to go out and ask for other people to bid on a space that's going to be there, who has this available? According to David, there was something we could do where we wouldn't have to put it out to bid. But I know we do have to go to the diocese in Springfield and negotiate with them. We can't just negotiate with the priest right. over here. So right. there is more to and it I as far as I know. And I don't know if you knew this. I had mentioned it prior before you came, I think. Um, some of my seniors are parishioners, and they were surprised that 
there would be rent charged because they raised all the money and built that church. Mm -hmm. So they have this different idea about okay. the diocese owning the church. So I don't know any more than that. Yeah, I don't know. Just, so I'm just okay. putting that out yeah. there. That that's I think up until this point, we didn't know what we were doing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. but as far as the whole projects right. go, so yep. now we kind of have something we can run with. Yeah, we need to. I think we were worried about doing too much too soon, mm -hmm. but now yeah. we can kind of Yeah, we're all kind of on hold, yeah. holding pattern until the vote came through. I, I I don't think, you know, my general opinion is that I, I don't think that the senior center is going to end up moving out during these winter months, but I do think that they may move, move out before uh, the, you know, the, the new building is ready. Oh, yeah. So yeah. at oh. some point, maybe in the spring, uh, mid-spring maybe, that will actually happen. Uh, yeah. And, and that's my understanding of why we're meeting tonight or what you were going to be discussing tonight. Um, because I need to logistically start my process insofar as what's priority to come with, what's going to be stored, um, going through the files, you know, stuff like that. And that's labor intensive. You know, I have one other full time person. Um, you know, so. And I'm not going to let any just anybody go through confidential files, so I, I need to get a jump, on, and it's hard to run the place and still do that stuff. Is there a date um, in anybody's mind for demolition of Hooker School? Well, it uh, we we were emailing back and forth on some of the uh, some of the time constraints that might mm -hmm. happen. So realistically, we are looking. It's going to be up to the select board, but I mean, I think everybody's sort of going to come into the consensus that the best approach is that the buildings be done together to reduce all costs. And if we do go forward with that, uh, that means we get everybody out. But realistically, it's going to be sometime in the springtime, possibly at the earliest. And I mean, it's going to take. But in the meantime, we come up with some idea. We have to have a plan. Yeah. I mean, then we go back, say we pick a date just for the hoo and then back up and see if it's realistic. Mm -hmm. And we know some time frames that, that things are going to take. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that, and we can do some of the uh, upfront analysis of the building for the demolition while you're still there. Some of it can't be done. Mm -hmm. But those are the things. We can go out to bid for demolition. We can, you know, uh, we can work with the company um, with regard to getting the building prepared for demolition. Okay, you know? Well, I think once we, mm -hmm. do we know like the absolute when will you guys be ready to put shovels in the ground? Well, and when will the senior center possibly be done? I mean, that timeline would be a yeah. good one to know, so you know right. what you're kind of dealing. Yeah. The I other think. thing is, if you go out to bid, I understand. You know, some people are saying putting them out together is not good. Some people say it's a better idea. I think, I think there should. Is it going to be together so you have to bid on the same two, or is it going to be set up so it's either or? I yeah, that's what, that was going to be one question I kind of wanted. I mean, I think oh, either or is the way to do it. If you've I got some too. guy that wants to come in and set up on site, setting up is half the battle. You know, if he can do both jobs, but they might you might get a better price from somebody that wants to do one and wants somebody that wants to do the other one. But if it's an option of both ways, I think right. that's I mean, what that's my you're better. My, you're going to get the best all price. the way through. Is it's either it's you could do either or right. or both together. Right. A, B, and C, and C is both of them together. Right. I think realistically, I think that's going to give you. Your we're going to give best the best price, price option. Mm -hmm. Yes, but there, you guys are going to have a date. Well, I think at this point the library should be ready to go to bid. I think it was tossed around that even by February or March, this yeah. coming. So it's, you know, we're there. Yeah, you're we're ready, ready, ready yeah. in the springtime to yeah. go out to bid. They'll be ready. To go out to bid, yep. and you got ready. and the demolition is part of your contract, right? Right. right. So it's that kind of works so together. That would be the first thing they'd be working on with yeah. getting that building down. So that's 
potentially could be in March. So that's where the, the you know the the senior center has to work more closely with the library building committee because that's that's up to the library to demolish that building. Mm -hmm. So I mean without but now what's the timeline for it has to be done. I mean is that it has guys, to I believe are you guys a little ahead of your you know Don't ever say that. I know that <laughs> No not probably not ahead anymore but I believe we have until next January to hit the next milestone, which I'm trying yeah, to think they of what said that it was is. Pretty far off that we, we have plenty of time, but, but we also know that by well, waiting a year, it's going to cost, it's cost half well, a million right. dollars. So right. we've already extra. We've already done that. Yeah. More so. Or less. <laughs> so I think that you know, hopefully, on with the select board, we'll come up with some type of assumed date that we can least try to get everything working and, and it, it's a fluid date that can uh, be pushed out but I think that sometime in between the, all the groups that we say hey let's try for May 1st or whatever just come up with something I mean realistically realistically we want to start by March or April because we want that that full cycle of construction period in the right. summertime, not trying to start in January. Right. So, right. you know, that's, so we should be pushing to do that. You got to do a study um, for hazard for mm -hmm. abatement. So they've already. So I think it's already been. That's partially all. Done, that's yeah. all done. Yeah. And can part of the building be emptied out to do, say, like the front half um, abatement while the back half is still being utilized? I don't think it's going to be cost effective. I don't think it's going to be setting up for your abatement. You is know, setting up is the biggest thing. If you're trying to block off and yeah. keep people working, it's going to be yeah, well, The restrooms are in that older When center. we looked at this building, we looked at that. Um, we were, the option was up and down, left to right, what works, and, and this is best in both sections. Yeah. And we threw it out. I mean, just okay. the, the costs, it was. It was more than double because you're dealing with trying to um, maintain a building to allow the public in. It just wasn't cost effective. They want you, and it will be. The Set up for any of that stuff is the biggest bad project. But the study's all done on what needs to be. Yes, the there. library had people go in, take samples of everything, and they know. I think you got a copy of that, don't you, Susan? Of what uh, they found. Yeah, lots of asbestos. Oh yeah. Um, it's in the, you it's don't in have natural gas, right? No. So, so that's the oil oil one design. real good yeah. thing. There's so oil. The tanks yeah. that have to be emptied and taken out. Yeah. That's yeah. That's the other thing too. We need to know a deadline so we don't fill the tank full and then end up paying to get mm -hmm. rid of it. But um, you know, immediately thinking action plan to come up with a real plan. I'm thinking that we need to know about the costs associated with being over at the church mm -hmm. because the last thing we want is to be counting on this and then have something happen with the diocese where yeah, it those doesn't work. Those have to start right away. They yeah. have, that's the first thing that needs numbers. to start. Pardon me? You need concrete numbers to plan it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We need to know that's a viable option and it'll help determine you know how much money you're actually saving and that will determine what you can do for storage and da 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 and we know how much if we wait how much the buildings are going to cost more so we have to have an idea mm -hmm. and work so, with those figures is uh, is the cost savings i think yeah it seems like the savings is there but yeah again we have to figure out the details so yeah so that's the first to thing is to talk so to the diocese and no but it could get real expensive if you know more monkey wrenches are thrown in i mean this whole thing oh yeah it's, always, it's, a, it's almost a perfect example of how not to get buildings done oh yeah we're writing the book on that and you know we did reach out to the departments gave them an idea what we could do yeah and then we got a little bit of feedback yeah the assessor had some feedback you know about their space down there but you know I don't know we we can figure things out you know and when I discussed it with them I said we're looking at real estate per person yeah and everybody has to give in a little bit 
and it is what it is. And yeah. This, we have, this, this, we don't have that many options here. No. <laughs> so you know, we, we. I think there's a short-term solution. Try to get everybody in here, and then try then go to another phase. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I mean, heavily media to me is the big one where they can go. Um, I know there was talk in the basement of the library, maybe, or something like that. Yeah, that was. I don't know if that's. Or even realistic. the second floor. You can go on the second floor. We can get a waiver on that for the state. They can. Yeah. 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 Well, he was happy there. And the nice thing and is, the, the, the fiber optic was, the expense was nothing. Because he right just flips it over. Right. Mm -hmm. So those are the things to look at. But we have to go back to the library and all this stuff. Yeah. So and talk with the diocese and then make determinations on where you think the other departments that are in the building should go, because the building has we, to be empty before they can move forward. So we need to figure out if that's viable. Mm -hmm. You guys make your recommendations on the rest of the departments in there. And that will give us a clearer picture of where we stand after that. Mm -hmm. And then we can build that time frame backwards, backwards the way that yeah. you said. Mm -hmm. Well, plus we just kind of need to get some visibility on where the projects are. I thought I had on my phone like the schedules, mm -hmm. and maybe Phil we'll will have some more insight. On Friday. Yeah, because I mean, by the time we're talking construction documentation isn't done until January, February, it's going to be what six weeks or something at least to bid them out, and then mm -hmm. you're talking mid March. Yep. Contracts are going to take a couple months, so you know you're probably not going to have a contract before April or something like that. I'm thinking. To get going on to break ground, I, I'm just throwing we'll these we'll out there. We'll see. We'll see. I I was under the impression we were talking in late March. Late but, March. Okay. But we still have some details regarding the office space that needs to be finished before they can create the bid documents. Yeah. So it's not like we can say, okay, start the bid docs right now. Mm -hmm give them six weeks to do that and then put it yeah, out to yeah. bid. So probably a couple more weeks in addition to what we already thought. But and then and then if we are bidding them out at the same time, even if we do the contract, I, I go back to what Phil said at one of the meetings is the contractors were looking at doing this might not have the ability to bid, physically build both buildings at the same time. Right, and that's why it should be an option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there are Maybe. some some around here that can. Okay, yeah. I don't know. And, that was going to be a question. Not necessarily, I, I mean, somebody might right. not be good at building the inside of both of them, but you might, you know, well, as far as your subcontractors, yeah. it might be better. They're for, like, all stubbed out. So you got the developers, the big companies, the Pearsons, the Western builders. They sub everything out. They, they deal with it. They're good at phasing right. between the two buildings. Right. Yeah. I, I think mean, it should they, be. You know. I mean, you take look at Homewood Suites. That's that's being done by Western Builders. That technically, under the building codes, three buildings. They actually phased it that way too, mm -hmm. with their subs. So, I mean, they they phase it up and down and side to side. So, that that's a huge that's a huge building. Oh yeah. So they can go back and forth and up and down and keep things moving. That could still happen here too with the two buildings. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to build, put both foundations in at the same time, but they're going to phase it back and forth between all the subs. That's where the big companies make out. Right, they could. And I, there's a number of them around here that, that okay. would could do it well. Could possibly if they wanted to. Yeah. But we've also gone through the prequel process and had nine that made the prequel. We dropped it when we went to a new design, but we'd still like to keep them interested. Mm -hmm. But there's probably a good chance that they can prequel for the other Well, one. one of them actually dropped out because he said the guy, he, the guy he wanted as the foreman of this job got busy on another one, so he had to drop out. And that's the scenario yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah. about where they don't have the Right, but it, it, it could be yeah. an option, I think, because I think some people might like it. Maybe not, right. but at least you're going to get, by having plan. an option of that, you're going to get the best when price. You, yeah, when you go out to bid, you have to have a good idea when you're going to be very, when you want to break ground. Mm -hmm. So that really mm -hmm. will dictate when people bid mm -hmm. on it, yep. if they want to bid on it. Yep. 
You're absolutely right on that. So backing up to the the reconfiguration of the departments and, and, and dispersing, we had discussions about reconfiguring this building. Where did we leave that? Is that did that go any farther than just a schematic? No, we uh, actually, we, there was a department meeting in this room. Um, it was two months September. ago. September? Mm -hmm. September ish or yeah. October, early October? Yeah. It uh, and it was presented to everybody. There was some discussion uh, at that meeting. Uh, we requested input from everybody, uh, you know, what they saw there, if there was an issue. Well, I got um, feedback from Park and Rec that they felt that it, if it was it possible we could flip them into another room. And I looked into that and that was okay. So we flipped them. Other than that, the, uh, there was some discussion from the assessor, but it was mostly, hey, we're looking at real estate per person and everybody's got to give up something. And it's, we have to figure something out here. So I think there hasn't been much other discussion. And I think, you know, it's, what else can we do? That's the issue. If we, it's, it's, it's a viable possibility. The only other option is to rent. And that we're throwing a lot of, yeah, we're putting some money into here. We got some quotes on doing some of the work. I mean, it's really going to be the, the select board's call. Yeah. Uh, do we go forward with it, or do they want to look a little bit more at uh, renting space? But the only space that could come up, and it's not going to, and, and it would be about the same time frame, is um, uh, Ray Shipments, where the dentist is, he's putting oh, right. the yeah. new right. dentist. Yeah, right. so they might be moving out the same yeah. time that we might need space. So, I mean, he's, he's willing to give that space to the town as first dips on it, if we want it. That's right, that's right, yeah. So that's, a, that's right here in town, right downtown here. So that's a good option, but that costs money. I know, we don't have an end date to when that rent is up, you know, like, we, well, we don't that, have the other thing too is that we, we, when we first started talking about this stuff way back, you know, the town hall, we decided to fix it up. It was it sufficed for now, size wise. It wasn't overly large, and a couple of departments have changed. You know, so to stuff some more people in here, yes, it can be done, but in reality, you know, what are we going to do? You know, some people could move back over to the old library eventually if we do something with that. Does it have to be permanent here? You know, if we I don't depending think it's on a how permanent long we make it. Yeah. Um, so I guess that it's not permanent. We just don't have a, you know. Right. But do we have to do major renovations in here? I don't no. think so. There was a few walls, but a couple could, walls and yeah. doors. Yeah. yeah what walls really was not much? No. How much was the total? Do you recall? Uh, I thought it was like around ten thousand or yeah. something less than that, maybe. I mean, that's work. short money for these big projects that are going on. And if we can yeah. make it work and we, yeah. it can be done like, efficiently, we're around twenty-three thousand. Oh, twenty-three. Sorry. Yeah. But still, you could spend that in a year, right? Mm -hmm. Easily. Yeah. yeah. Right. And the job, the, the 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 configurations that need to be, you know, put together, you know, can be done in a, you know, a couple of weeks. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's a. It, it's a short-term solution to get everybody in here, but we still can keep some people in here. But they're, they're, we're going to then be going to another phase and looking at what to do with Goodwin. And I think that's a great possibility of putting some departments in. And it might be that's all we need. Or we could be looking at one of the other things we're going to have to be looking at, which we will be talking very shortly on, is Russell School. And we know what those dollar figures are. That means that, you know, at some point, we're going to have to go for some type of non-binding vote to the residents. What do we do with this building? I don't want to go for any vote to the residents until this whole thing with the North Out of the All 
is resolved. Because I don't want to yeah, that's, be that that's embarrassed in right. front of everybody because that's the first thing that everybody's going to say. Yeah, Look what you did mm -hmm. and didn't do mm -hmm. with North Adley Hall. Look You're how long right. it's been. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's shameful. The, I mean, the, the, are there bids in yet? I mean, I know that well, they're going out to a know room. where it is? It's sweet. We're looking for a real estate broker. Still? No. It, now, we got it went one up quote to back. It came back. It came back. It didn't look good. So and then it went out to more market. residential. And I don't know where it is at right now. Because I, I was I went through with one of the commercial realtors, the only person that showed up for the pre. And I don't even know if, they, if that was the same person that bid. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. yeah I asked today, and I because I was I'm like, wow, nobody's contacted me. The problem is when I walked through, one of her questions to the uh, upper echelon was, "Do we have a clear deed to this property?" Yeah, and that's and something we. It came back as a no. That's your job. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's like okay, well, you're going to get paid on the tail end of the sale, but you're going to do a lot of upfront work. And that's why the I got rejected because there was a lot of upfront money. Yeah, so I yeah. can't imagine anybody. The whole, uh, why you know, isn't? The, the the baseball the, the the softball field. I don't know why the town why the town's attorney hasn't figured to this out yet. Result. There was a <laughs> fundamental question. Though. You got the, the I mean, spotlight on the wrong person. A real estate agent is going to hire a lawyer to figure that out. I'm assuming. Yeah. Well, you know, so why don't we use our town <clears throat> attorney to That's figure town, that out? The town attorney should be able to straighten right. out the deed. And then you go for what? Because not the realtors aren't going to do that. No. Well, they're going to hire a lawyer. They're they're not capable of that. There was even another question in regards to can we even sell the field? Was that resolved? That I believe that was resolved, that we oh, could okay. do that. We can? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, that would be nice to know. Well, it would be nice to know. I'm pretty sure the lawyer could find that out if he went to the deed place and took care of that. Well, no, there was a little bit more involved than that. With uh, Well, with, yeah, but with the... Way that ruling, but I really, I really hate to have a non-binding vote. Yeah, we're not going to Russell School. <laughs> yeah, gotten the North Hadley thing. What's the point? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Resolved. That needs yeah. to be. How, how long has it been going on? Mm. Almost as long as we've been on this committee. Yeah. Four years. Yes. Yeah. Hey, you're right. That was one of our first things. First yeah. We right. almost Correct. immediately, the first right. year, you know, recommended that the that the town sell it, and we didn't like it, but we, you know, it was like that was that was the option. You have to cut your losses at some point, so that it wouldn't keep sucking money out of us. And there it That's is. That's what it's still doing. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> we're not it's beating okay. up on yeah. you. He wasn't here. No, he has no other questions. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'll be something else like that and beat me up over. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna say I wasn't here, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Guess I it's out it. of our hands. That's the only thing. So we've done as much as we can do on it. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's not up to us. That, you know, there were some valid questions brought up in that walkthrough, and it, when I heard that one, I was like, "Wow, I don't, know. <laughs> I don't see anybody gonna go sticking their neck out that far on a percentage of a chance of a sale." So, on the fifth, what do you think is going to happen? What are you guys going to really be discussing? Don't really. Know. I don't know for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, we'll discuss probably you know swing space options, uh, and then yeah, I don't know what we're going to discuss as far as lumping the projects together you know for bidding and that kind of thing goes i, I hope before you decide what you're going to do we get some pretty good firm figures on all of the options of moving everybody to wherever they're going to go so, and have money available for that so it doesn't come yeah well i mean we're else. not i doubt we'll take a vote on it well okay yeah i'm yeah. just saying yeah I, I you know and i don't know if, i don't expect it to happen in, by front or by next week but, yeah yeah but but we have some i i think we have some good solid costs that we can utilize from the work here on a lot of the logistics stuff on how it was handled with the utilities especially the phones and things like that 
and it actually went pretty smoothly. Mm -hmm. and, and what's do you have? What what phone system do you have over there? A very inefficient one. We have so one you're line. So you don't have that. What do we have here, Norman? Do or whatever? Uh, I'm not sure. We so. have one line, and okay. it doesn't. You know, all three of us are on the phone. At, we have to so wait you basically until somebody have, gets off the phone. You probably just have one Verizon line. Right. So that's even simpler. Well, we have two: there. one for the fax and one for. But you can that that that's has just an initial cost on on getting things set up to flip over to what however you want it. We were able to uh, get everything from here to the public safety complex to one line that we were dedicated on. But we also had messages from each department phone uh, that automatically when people dialed in like for some of us we said just call our cell phones mm -hmm. and that was the message that was done instantaneously so we moved everything over in the morning and they say we had one person call up the phone company and said all right flip the switch mm -hmm. and everything got we have the Verizon messaging system yeah. so we dial so in to get our messages so it's going to be that's not going to be um, provided where they're going has that wiring capability at the church. I don't know if they've got phone lines in the I bet. classroom. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah. We check. Yeah. So we have to go through all that. So we need to we need to get clarification on whether that's a viable thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see what you Because I mean, all best laid plans, and then you mm. get walled up something, something you didn't count on, and. Mm -hmm. So if we can get that determination, then we'll really be moving in a defined direction. And then some of the some fundamental questions is, you know, we'll, we use DPW to do some of the move here. We didn't, not for everything. Right. We brought in a company, we had an estimate on that. Are we, what do we have to do for the senior center on uh, right. getting things over. I would have and it really going to depend on what Suzanne says she's going to take over. Right, you have to. Which isn't going to be a lot. Yeah, I so mean, I mean, that's not a big deal. You can give, you know, rent from over somebody and go yeah. through and look at it in a, a day or two and you have a quote. But that also takes the coordination of all the other departments that are in that building. Right also doing the same thing, going through their stuff and saying, this is going, this is going, this is and going. And that's going to be problematic on some of them. Mm -hmm. So that needs to, prop that can start getting organized, I would think, at this point, like get a point person for I each department that's working. I do know Park and Rec has already started trying to liquidate some of their stuff up in there. I don't think the Park and Rec is going to be an issue. No, they've got She's very, excited little, about moving very little left over there. Yeah. A lot it's of what's left is not going to be, it's going to be going out to a big green dumpster. It's going to be the most difficult one to move. Yeah. But if we do decide to go move them up and go to the library and get that resolved. The uh, planning board paperwork can go upstairs in the library. It's it's a you know environmental climate controlled building. It's got a fire alarm system in it rather than... So that's going to be our side. thought to the select board. Is okay. To, Use the second floor. Same with the highway store. maps that are in the third floor up there. Okay. And I didn't know those were over there. <laughs> yeah. It's not accessible. It won't be accessible to the public, so we don't have to go through accessibility issues. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe like once a, every two months, somebody goes up there and looks around for a map. Yeah. That's about what it amounts to. Mm -hmm. So there. I don't see that as a problem. I think I don't. I wouldn't think that the library would have a problem with it. It's not yeah. it's extremely limited. Just have to figure out who's going to talk to them and be at a trustees meeting. And, you know, and the one thing is, there will be logistics on how people get in there. Right. Yeah. So that has to be worked out. That's going to be a, a, an issue. Yeah, that's what, that, what I was going to bring up is regardless of where these departments go, if they go to Goodwin or, you know, Park and Rec comes here with planning board and whatnot, that whole area is going to be a construction site eventually. Where is anybody going to park who's going to go to the Goodwin? And what about planning board and park and rec? 
if we do have to good point you know uh, uh, renovate some some parking at Russell Here, School yeah what's going on with the parking right yeah, there do anything with that parking lot yeah huh? there was a preliminary like just a sketch that I think David made up right yeah yeah, yeah David went, made up they, uh, they went the, out and got an estimate on that uh, yeah. and. I don't know where. Uh, did they ever get an estimate? I didn't huh? know they ever did. Uh, I thought Marlowe did. I thought, I thought it was like a hundred thousand for that. Or yeah. Or something. I thought Marlowe got know. one. I know he was going to. I don't know if it ever happened. I, yeah, I don't know if he ever did either. Okay. Well, maybe we could resurrect that um, yeah. idea. I mean, because it's gonna if people are gonna be crossing Route Nine all the time to get to the library or wherever. Well, I think they could keep some those small spaces right there. I would think they'll be able to divert something around. And regardless of what the Russell Not School that much, turns but. into, that's property we could use for parking and it might be it might be helpful if we do a project over there in in the foreseeable future that there's some kind of pavement there. Oh I think pavement over there is a good idea no matter what we do with the building. Yeah. The extra parking over there and is if great there's idea. more people here and then you know right parking's yeah, already tight park, here. Parking's been tight here for yeah. years. Yeah, so that could be piled onto our action items is to resurrect that, you know, try to get, get some idea of what that's going to cost and what it should look like mm -hmm. for the, you know, I don't, closer you know, Dave, David, uh, David had talked to Berkshire Design about it too, yeah. and I don't, I never heard back from them. I could ask uh, one of the guys that's up, because right. they're designing the layout for the North Hadley Fire Station, Carlos. I can ask him, this came if he's, whatever happened with that deal. Yeah. David, can since you're part of the library, mm -hmm. can you ask them one fundamental question that we need answered? Are you guys going to be using that um, uh, reception desk from Smith College? It was mentioned at our last meeting. There's a lot of people that don't even know what it looks like, so it will have, we'll have to see if it fits in with the deck. I don't know <laughs> if the people that saw it over there have yeah. seen it over there because it's not the same. No, it's been well, sawzall. Yeah, no, they but, sawzall. It. Yeah, no, I heard that. And I not heard. even with the square. But even with that <laughs> said, it probably needs to get reconfigured anyway. Or so you guys got to make a decision on that. Yeah. Because it it's jammed right into the hallway, so mm. um, it's a, it's a basically a hazard right. right now. You really have to address that. I mean, you know, if they're going to, then it can stay there. Yeah, okay. somebody had to at least make some measurements. If it's going to be jettisoned, so then reconfigure it. we can do that yeah. in between. We can do just about anything because it's an open plan right now. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a big space. I, but I don't, it's, it's, I don't think any reception space. does. Yeah, yeah. I, I, to I my knowledge, I don't think anybody from the library has been over there once it got mm. put over there. Out. Right. Once they well, said, I'll see we'll if anybody it. has seen it. They probably haven't, because if, if nobody it's, let them in, they haven't seen it. No, I haven't let anybody in. You yeah. need to call Gary yeah. up there. Yeah. We might have to have a meeting the over there. The gatekeeper. <laughs> yeah. And it's, like I said, it's like, the guy hands me a bunch of bolts and some pick hand drawings. <laughs> I said, it's not going to be me. No way. <laughs> not have to look at this. It is literally jammed in the hallway. Mm. Well, they used to use it for active shooter drills over there, and they can't anymore, because you can't even flow <laughs> through the building. Yeah. 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 Well, that runs our our usable um, agenda. That is a furniture has the storage facilities, renovations to town hall, and parking. So we went through all that, everything on the list. And our next meeting is coming up on the third. Third. That's when we're going to talk about uh, Russell School. Costs. Right. Uh, do you want? I did meet with since you bagged Larry today. I had to deal with him. I. <laughs> it's not that I. I there was no problem. Tim. It was noon time, lunch time. I think. I, I it. was at a meeting. So I was too. <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This he just brought these by. It was the the updates on the painting of the the column. Oh, there. good. Um, so thank you for stopping in, Susan. Thank you. Keep me updated. Let me know if I can help. Okay. Anything we can help you on, too. All right. Like yeah, we're going to have to be in contact. Well, it's going to be an exciting meeting. Just on one that. other question. It, yes. Is it, should we consider hiring anybody to help with any of this coordination? Like, well, I don't know who we'd hire, but do we want to? Yeah, I don't know. Because every department knows what their priorities are, so for them, 
to say this has got to come with us. This is, you know, that's up to the department, I would think, to best know how to organize their workflow and what needs to come with. I mean, as far as emptying the building once everybody's out, but we've got to empty the oil, shut off, get the gas removed, and you know, and we need the time it's so Christian has brought up a really valid point, and I think we do need somebody, and it could be. Um, because there's so many different departments and they're at, they're part time. There's got to be one person that's sort of in charge of this whole thing that can help each department with anything that they need throughout the daytime to get all this stuff moving and coordinate times and have that person maybe not make all the phone calls, but uh, make sure that things are done. I think we all have our own own jobs, but it's always good to have that one person that's dedicated to the job to make sure that things are being done properly. Isn't that our town administrator's job? Well, I was thinking. I, I nominate Gary. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> well, well, who's got time? Who's well, got I'm kind of in charge of you know. I mean, I'm the one that's going to have to empty the building out. I know. I'll, you know, not as far as the junk, but you know, you've got the oil, the electricity, and the propane tank. The propane is easy. You just call it the. They'll come and take that the next day. The oil tank. You want to try to coordinate it so you get it as low as you can. I mean, if we're going to move out and you don't want to leave it full. Because uh, somebody told them not to fill it. No, because you need a cut. Off. I mean, you yeah, used five thousand seven hundred gallons last year, and I think it's a fifteen hundred. So somebody needs to be monitoring how much we is in need, there Once now. we get a date, yeah. when we're shutting that building down. We're going to go backwards and just okay. go to will call. Okay. But that only does heat. It doesn't do hot water, right? No, it does hot water. It does hot water. Okay. Never mind. But what but I'm yeah. talking is like, is somebody that, you know, do we need another person to kind of coordinate a I lot mean, of this like, stuff? Like, that, I, I'm the problem is Suzanne's going to the church, so she's going to be dealing with the church. Yeah. Well, some I, a town entity needs to do the negotiating right, right. as far as all yeah, of that. But so, that's somebody yeah, yeah. that's got to have the power to do those exactly. kind of negotiations. Well, last time that happened, we lost the St. John's property. Well, that was... Different story. Different story. Old news. But like, Suzanne, do you have a, a, a sense of what you need for space at this point? Or, no, or not square yet. footage or anything like that? So that if, if there is a bid going out, we can say we need this. Oh, you mean what I need to function? Right. Yeah. Square footage? Yeah, because that should you should be thinking about that now. Because if we're gonna put a bid out there, if that's what's necessary, or even if it isn't, at least we'll have a sense of what you need to Or we can give you the square footage of the uh, you church that, yeah. space. You if you, well, the, if you want to go over this so church we can measure out what you were talking about. It's and not that so would much give you the square number. footage as it is that it has all the facilities, Fizz, different yes. facilities like yeah. the kitchen and yeah. the place well, right. to exercise can, you, you and all the space like that. that's A kitchen complete. with X amount of space. Yeah. It doesn't have to be that big but a kitchen. A functioning commercial kitchen and then say you need a dining area of at least X amount of square feet. All right. You need a, a exercise a area, assembly, office assembly, area. Yeah. A, a yeah, I, mean, I don't even know how many people you have in your office, how many yeah. desks you would want to bring over. Do you need to bring desks over? Um, so See, well, that's that's something easy. else I would have to check with the church. If you could use the yeah. church's desk, you can get rid of the other ones, and that's. Yeah. But just, get rid of some just think about you know, how many people you would actually need to have there on a regular basis. And, you know, the kitchen will have a certain number anyway, but. You know, there's the. Right, and if you've well. got it laid out in your head what the church is, we can just go over and measure each area. And I have the drawings. Oh, you've got a drawing. I've got the drawings. Oh. I can give you a square footage. Is there two classrooms or three? Three. There's, there's three, three, but okay. Knights of Columbus has they storage in one of them. Yeah. And then there's a library space, which I don't even think they're using. It's more storage. Is that the one at the, on the opposite farthest end? end? Which could be a nice office. It, it's a great, it has the most natural sunlight. But. Um, it would be lockable. Yeah. I want to say the little kids do their CCD in there. Hmm. Well, those are the things you'll find out and work it through. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry to catch you as you're going out the door. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good time. Mm -hmm. Now we can yeah. <laughs> tell you back in. You almost escaped. I know, right? But Christian, you really bring up a great point on somebody's got to look, look out on all this stuff that has the knowledge to do it. Yeah, I'm and just I thinking think like a point really person. Critical. I mean, yeah. I'm going to be doing, getting the buildings, go, the renovations in here. So basically, and you got the, them going to the church. What you've got left is somebody going into the library upstairs. And we're going to, the biggest thing is going to be coordinating, like you said, keys, making, giving, getting a key so that whoever needs it get, get into certain points and not the other parts. To me, you're the most logical person. I'll make the motion. <laughs> then we point Harry. But no, the, point man. But in my, in my mind, the, assistant on the, side. <laughs> the way that I think about things is that you need somebody who understands how everybody, you know, where everybody works and all the rest of that. But in order to coordinate everything, you need a timeline with set dates on it. And that oh, person right. says to everybody, okay, we're going to give you till this I don't know, right. whatever, da 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 da, yeah. to decide what's coming with you. And you know what yeah, I mean? Like we break it that, down yeah. in steps like that yeah, yeah. to do what you're talking about. And that's we, the way we I... We had that person here. And we had, and there was uh, one or two people who said, well, we can bring in help. If you don't have your back, this is what's going. <laughs> and we said, you have, you are carrying one, mm -hmm. one crate out. And that's all you're allowed to <laughs> say. <laughs> And the rest of the stuff went into the pot, and that's what we said. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, because there was no way you're getting into this building. But here. those are the things you need somebody that, that can do that. The timelines. Yeah. Oh, you know? we have to establish that date. Once we know that, like even moving all that stuff, there may be different departments, but once we know we're moving, we can we get a mover that's going to move everything in right. a different location. Once you it doesn't what, take a person. We're taking to, this to there. Mm -hmm. You get yeah. price. We just have to tell them what, yeah. right. what and where. What? That's all they need right. to know. Right. They'll take care of the rest of it for us. Right. How many yeah, stairs are you going up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and that person will work with each department, mm -hmm. the yep. chair. And mm -hmm. it, it'll work. Oh, it yeah. won't be a problem. But we do need that one person that can be dedicated. I mean, it's not. Yeah. And it's, personally, it's mm -hmm. got to be somebody like Gary because yeah. he knows a lot of those steps. Okay. There's not, I mean. Yeah, he's got the keys. And he's got, got the keys. keys. <laughs> <laughs> the key, key Everywhere. Alright. And we can certainly, once we know what the dates are, we can think amongst our group here and put together some sort of a timeline in our yeah. minds and, and have everybody try to work to it. And, yeah, just distribute um, that so that yeah. if we're ahead or behind, we know we've got a yep. you know, bus to get there on time. Yeah, get everybody on the same page. Delegate. Like you don't have enough, enough to do. All right, sounds good. So we'll wait to hear what they come up with on the church. Yeah, I'll try to work something out with David, whether it's me getting the contact information and following up or mm -hmm. him, I'll, I'll try to see what we can do. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. Have a good night. Okay, so what I, I don't you know if you have, I'll just kind of go over this because he said we don't have to make any decisions. Um, so this is the the call town hall and change okay all right one of the things was that uh, the metal railings we we've got to make clearance for these these are screwed in almost all of the bolts have fallen out I'll just take and cut them off with the grinder they're welded because this is solid metal that'll allow them access to get in there it's about four inches. Actually, it's probably less than the space on here, so I don't know if you really want to hook them back in. The tennis ball can go in between them all. It doesn't matter. But So that's one of the things that he needs done. So I said, that's not a problem. We can cut that right off, just the weld on both sides and access that. The other problem was, I guess you would have, Tim had talked to him about going, painting up to this line. Yeah. He what suggested, he, he and I suggested to here. All right. I mean, technically, like he said, the problem is, you know, we're going to do this. We're going to do underneath Does here. Does the sign have to come off then? But we just had that off, so it should come off and it was all okay. painted. So that shouldn't be a problem. Well, I mean, yeah, let's just go up there then. If you but like he said, too, to, if it was him, 
And if it was me, I'd pay all the we'd way do the whole it. thing. The problem is, we don't have the money. Well, the problem is, side. you're coming in here and you're going to scaffold it and you're going to seal it off to strip it. So now you're doing all of this, all of this under here and the columns. You're not doing the front, but you're getting up to here. So the next time you do this, somebody's going to have to come in and set up just for that piece to do the front, you know, and that part. So how much extra is it? Setting up and getting to it's the hardest part. So if you've got your stage yeah, and you're only right doing here it, or your lift, part of that process. That's just a little bit smaller piece. Yeah. The other thing you've got to look at too. You know, this does obviously. I wash this off, so it's a little bit better. But you know what's going to happen when this becomes nice and shiny white, and this becomes the dull eighty blue. <laughs> that's going to look like that right now. So your suggestion is go all the way. Through. His suggestion in mine was to go all the way, set up the set, you know, big part of it. But CBS. I don't know the funds. <laughs> um, the other thing was he, you know, we're gonna we talked about the he's gonna redo the metal flashing. That's gonna be in the scope of work because those hang out um, and check whatever's up here. And he said on these here, this this is gonna be that blue that we talked about. So hopefully the spiders won't go there. And he's gonna do the insets of this. So in, in what you're cool. talking about was we're going to have to go back to CPA for more funds. Who's going to do that? And then, of course, the epoxy work, you know, and, and he, the, he suggested the chemical, but the problem is you've got to use two chemicals. You've got to use the latex stripping chemical and then go to a lead stripping chemical. Otherwise, scraping, he said, short of making custom-made blades to go into this groove, you can, you're going to do the same thing those people did. Take a square peg in a round hole and just grind on it. So are you, you de-leading the whole front? Is that what they're doing? Not de-leading it, but scraping it right down to you know, getting rid of the, not the bare wood, but to getting all the stuff that's loose. And that's almost all the old stuff is the lead. You know, this was not de-leaded. It's, yeah. it's hot. Even though we paid for it. <laughs> yeah, well, everybody thinks it was delayed just because they dumped some stuff on there and peeled it off. You know, when you got chunks of paint that are thick enough to trip over a sidewalk. Yeah, they just took off the loose stuff. Right. They, they, you know. And I did suggest to him the Mad Dog Primer, which is what they yeah. use on the church. Um, and he had never heard of it, but he was going up to talk to Bob Hall yeah. and check it out. I took him over to the church because a couple of spots they had just primed it, they mixed it with the white primer. And you can feel it. I mean, it's just, do you ever use that? It's like rubber. It's like contact cement when yeah. it's dry. And they can paint it on, they were painting it down to 38 degrees with that. I saw that as well. And they were painting two hours after it got done raining. But, yeah. do you agree with that? Yeah. Really? No, Bob okay. said those were the specs, and they had Bob Hollow come down and said. the cold and, and the damp? Yeah, because it's a rubber, it's a water based. Type. It's like a rubber, yeah. and it glues what's yeah. left. It really, I mean, it. I've used it on a shed in my house, and I was really impressed with it. It stopped the checking on the T111. Mm. Um, and so I. What buddy, is it called? Mad Dog. Mad Dog. Coles is uh, like Coles the is the one number seller. one seller of it in yeah. the country. Yeah. It's expensive. Yeah, exactly. It's like fifty-four dollars a gallon. Yeah. That's cheap. Yeah, you know, it's regular paint. Cheap paint stuff. doesn't save you any money. When you're putting three coats on to cover something, you're not saving money. So I think you are. Oil. Uh, it's it's it'll go over a gallon. Is it? Is it? Yes. Or yes. Oh, we're going. Yeah. So that's this is a little bit above the first scope that we voted on. So we got a modifier vote. And the church didn't use much for scaffolding. He most of it off the list. Yeah, he list. did all this. No scaffolding. Can we? The pro I mean. The problem is you can't really get, this is tough. I mean, I just tried, did this with a 20, what was it, 12, 14 foot step ladder from the fire department. You got this step here, so you can't really, I mean, you'd have to like build it really yeah. to get in there and, you know, ramp it and stuff like that. Um, but like I said, their scope is, you know, you're going to be scraping here if we decide to go there. And then you've got all the columns and then the ceiling, basically. They're not doing the front. And the other thing was on where to stop over here. So for, even if we come, even if we just do this part, if you come around the side, he goes, you know, we're going to be, this is all going to be fresh paint. 
I said, well, we're just going to have to feather it off right about where that downspout is. I don't think CPA is going to go for the Well, painting like that is going to, they're not, they're going to say no, right? No, they're going to say no. To what? To the upper part? But how much is that? What's the additional cost? You get another? I don't know because okay. I guess we, what we need to, we do we wait and see what the bids come in at? If we've got the extra money, we do a little more up top? I mean, maybe you're going to have to go. we can do something with, like, we were talking with the finance committee about a maintenance budget and somehow. The sad part is, like you said, you're going to do all this work to this. The rest of it's going to stick out. This is going to look well, like snow on a dirt road. Yeah, but it'll get us to get the rest of the building. Oh, it's stuff. definitely going to get, because now that's going to be like, oh, my God, why did you just do part of that? Because that's all we could get from the CPA. It's gonna look. It's gonna look. My Christ! It's not gonna be that. It's. Think of the. Want end. me to go get the little white paint out there and just see what it looks like? Well, look at. You just look at over at this church. That's all you got to do. Same thing. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? N it nice, nice and nice white thing. compared to, to the, the dirty side. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was the cost? Um, I have estimate on this. What did we have? The original. I thought the original was like 138,000. Yeah, I thought it was 120 or something like something, that. Something. For the whole building, probably. No, no, no it's for the no, front. No, it's the lead is. Yeah, or maybe the lead, the lead abatement is, is the biggest expense. Or maybe it was 38,000. I thought, was it, it was I thought like, it was like 100 something. I thought it was 120. Yeah. 128 or something. Something dumb like that. And I was. Floored. Yeah. Abatement. Uh, abatement's 38. This is. I don't remember what. I can't remember what we asked. I mean, that was town meeting in the spring. Yeah. So, like, that's when we voted. I don't remember that. anymore. I guess I can go over. And I bring my folder. I don't know if I have it. I can go across the hall and look it up. Can you look it up? I don't know if you have, I don't know if I've got a copy of what you asked for for CPA. I guess we'll have to go. I mean, we can, no. we can, it's not gonna we, we don't have to do it today. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to talk about it next month. All right. Yeah, if you can give us some idea. You, know, I, we, you and I can get together and I can yeah, we'll get stuff. together. And, uh, he, and we, uh, he's got some other stuff here, you know. What else did he want? Uh, this was just basically his uh, portico restoration type. What did he, he's not, what did he say? He's not calling it something else. He's calling it something different. But that was, that was a couple of biggest things is how far do we want to go? Where do we stop on the ledger? He's going to check out the Mad Dog Primer. We want to know about cutting, get you know getting these accessible so they can get in there and work. If he doesn't use Mad Dog, is he just using strictly a latex primer, or is he doing oil? I don't know if he's going to do oil or not. That's something we've got to get into because he really hasn't gone that far with all of that stuff. He's been more worried about the scope of the work and stuff like that, not so much the. Because an ad dog will add to your cost even over the oil, but right. Now, uh, yeah, uh, I think Zinzer or Benz or somebody makes something comparable to that Mad Dog, but it's not. No, it's, it's not. It's not. It's a wannabe. It, it, well, it's it's more expensive oh. and it's not as good. Okay. I've got nine years out of a paint job in a house with. I did two coats of oil primer and then I did a coat of latex over it, but you know, you're doing it three times. Oh yeah. So the Mad Dog is probably the, the that church they, they tinted the Mad Dog. Yeah. They put it on and then they painted white over it. Yeah. Coat. So it'll be that'll be a test to see how long it lasts. But, but I mean Bob swears by it up yeah, there. Yeah, he yeah. he used it on the sign up there too when he redid the sign, the town hall sign on the front. And that was that's nothing but a piece of quarter inch lawn with some number of stuck wooden pine things that you used to buy at the you know Michael's craft store down there. That's what those letters are. When I took it down I was like I'm surprised this thing's still like not blown apart in the wind. They were you know cracked. 
Anything else? That's it on this. We can go over it and double right. check. And Larry, Larry said he, you know, we'd have to get a decision until next week. We'll talk. Yeah, I got called out at the eleven thirty by the fire department. So. And he does want to go over. Thank you. No call. We right. need to know about the HVAC stuff too. You want to keep that? Oh, you want to put it in your office? Well, it's up to you. When would they start that in spring? I think what he wants to do is get everything set up so that we can go out to bid. The church, I guess they're going to. Uh, my buddy's on the building committee over there. They their deal was they had to get the front pack front painted in the other side. They're going to hold off on this side, but they've got to do. They're taking all of those windows out. They've got, I guess, like, I think they got enough sets for two two sets extra. So they're going to take out all the windows, grind them down, redo the gla glazing on them, prime them, paint them, and put them back in. That's what they're doing this winter. They've got extra sets, and they're just going to keep changing them out. And then this is like the first thing in the spring they're going to finish this side. So they just put them, replace it, and leave it. And move on to the next set, essentially. Yeah, take one, yeah, put the yeah. new ones in, take them out, put yeah. them back, move them over, take them windows. out. Well, the front is being done now, too. Yeah, one Tom West has been doing those over there, mm -hmm. putting plywood up. Mm -hmm. I think he's got two pieces of plywood down. I don't know. He oh, said, the last time I talked to him, he said he was going to do two, but I think there's only still one over there, the plywood. I, I don't know if he. He's all done on this side, except for up top. Huh? Yeah, he was up on was the front around? side. Oh, he was? Yeah. All right. Is that it? That's it for this. Good. Okay, motion. Two. Do we can. He wants to stay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Right. Adjourned. Second. Second. Oh, Gary beat me. <laughs> Gary's. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.